I just bought another Disney pin collection. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ryan from Disney Pins Blog, and I am back again with my third Disney pin collection that I recently purchased. If you're familiar with the channel, uh, you may have seen my first one I did where I purchased 600 Disney pins, and then the second one was like a lot of older pins and pin sets, that big Coca-Cola frame. Uh, and now we're on to the third one. And this one here is about 150 pins. So I wanna show you guys a closer look at this collection before I uh, keep the ones that I want. And then the remainder, of course, will go to dpbstore.com. So keep an eye out on the website if you want any of these pins. Also, like I mentioned before in a previous video, I have a total of six collections. This is our third, so I have three more, and I have another big one waiting. Um, that one's probably gonna be coming in the next uh, probably two months. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna check out that one. It's a lot of pins. So yeah, some of these I put in these little cases um, that I had laying around. Um, just for displaying purposes. I have two of them here. And then the other single pins I took out of the packing. They came in a nice box all packed up. I took them out, put them down on a towel here um, so I can just kind of scan through them and show them to you guys. There's a lot of nice pins here. Um, she, her collection was kind of all over the place. There were There's some older pins here and then a lot of newer pins. So um, it, it seems like she's been collecting for a while. It didn't seem like she went that hard into the hobby just because of the time frame here. There's some older pins and then some newer pins the whole way up until the beginning of this year. So yeah, there's a lot of nice pins here though. Also, like I mentioned before, we had a blog post that went up a while back about how to sell your Disney pin collections. And from that blog post on the website, we had a lot of people that have been reaching out to us uh, who what, wanted to sell their pin collections. Either they're getting out of the hobby or they need some extra money or um, they inherited them. So that's why I've been purchasing some collections. Uh, this girl in particular reached out to me on Facebook. She was just kind of getting out of the Disney pin collecting hobby and uh, wanted to sell off her uh, collection uh, just to get some extra money. So I took it off her hands and uh, here we are. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so here they all are. I'm gonna show you what's inside these cases here first. Let's go ahead and look at the first one here. All right, so uh, starting off the top here, here are some of the Marvel run Disney pins. She must have uh, did that half marathon weekend out at Disneyland. Next here is a 2014 Disney Vacation Club pin. This is a hinge pin. You open it up and on, in, on the inside we have Chip and Dale next to the castle eating some popcorn. And the back card on this is pretty cool. It's like a luggage tag. Next is a Epcot International Food and Wine Festival pin for 2017. That's a good one. I have that one actually for my personal collection. Here's another Marvel Run Disney pin for the 5K. This is that uh, one of those Jungle Book pins for the anniversary that was released at Disney Parks. Here is a Tarzan piece of history pin for Disneyland. Next, this is a Walt Disney World exclusive. You guys probably remember this pin. Uh, this came out last year. It's that little Fox and the Hound flipper pin. I thought that was a unique design. Next is this Winter Wishes pin. They had a bunch of these at the outlet store actually in Orlando. But I thought that was a pretty cool pin. 3D pop out. It reminds me of some of the ones that come out at Hong Kong Disneyland. Here's a uh, newer pin. This is the Disney Visa pin for 2018. Features Woody and Bullseye. Next is a Happy Holidays pin with Pluto. This is for the Disneyland Resort. Here's a St. Patrick's Day pin. This was for... 2017 and then here are three of the villains vault 2017 pins when these came out there was a lot of hype around these they are hinge pins with dangle elements here you have queen of hearts nice gold style there here's turnabog i love that pin with the uh little dangle elements and then next dr facilier with the uh, little dangle element there those pins are awesome Okay, so that's all for the first case. All right, for the next one here, we have some pin sets and some more individual pins. These are the uh, DVC pin sets for Walt Disney World. You have Bay Lake Tower, Grand Floridian, Wilderness Lodge, and Polynesian. She had two of those for some reason. Next is the uh, very popular Disney Cats booster pin set. When this came out, everyone wanted it. So three pin sets there. Then we have some more individual pins down here. Here is the Disney's Grand Californian Hotel pin. It's 
Splash Mountain themed. There's the Earth Day pin for 2017. Winnie the Pooh. St. Patrick's Day for 2018. Jessica Rabbit. Pin on pin design. Glitter embellishments. Very nice. I love this pin when it came out for Mardi Gras last year. Super cool. Very colorful. We have another Villain's Vault pin with Maleficent there on top. Uh, down here is a black and white Mickey pin that says 1929 Pie Eye Mickey. And this one was released in 2006. And then next is one of the Alphabet Mystery pins. This is G. I think this is the Chaser pin because it's in glitter for cars. Yeah, that is a Chaser pin. LE400. Okay, so that's all for that case. Now let's get into all the individuals I have laid out here. I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. So starting up here in the corner, we have a very nice Mickey Americana pin as the American flag. This is an older pin. It, uh, oh wow, on the back it says Remembrance of September 11th, 2001. Wow, I didn't even know they made a pin for that. Wow, I think I'm going to keep this pin. Disney Vacation Club. I really like that. Alright, so moving on, um, we have the Disney Cruise Line pin here. Just said that's an OE pin. Next is an Avengers pin with four. Here's one of those puzzle piece pins. I think this is from, I want to say, Sleeping Beauty. And that is a limited edition of 1100. Next, we have two of the fish from the Tank Gang on Finding Nemo. This is from Pin Quest at Disneyland. She has a bunch of these pins. I think she actually might have the whole collection. Um, you'll see throughout. Next is a Mickey's Fire Department pin. That's pretty cool. It's probably just like an open edition, older open edition. Yes, yeah, from 2002 or three, it looks like. Here is the Pin Celebration pin from Pins Around the World. That's the annual Epcot event. And that's a spinner pin. That's really neat. If you guys didn't know, that's what their pin events are called. The annual ones at Walt Disney World, they're called Disney's Pin Celebration and then they're just themed every year. Like this year's theme is Animation Celebration. Next is a dog pin. That's from one of the Magical Mystery pin sets. Here is a Best Friends pin featuring Olaf and Sven. Here's that Grape Soda pin from Up. There's a 101 Dalmatians pin. Very nice. Coming down here, we have some more of the Alphabet pins. Bugs Life, Incredibles, Finding Dory. The Maleficent here is part of the puzzle. There's that Tomorrowland pin that was so hot whenever it first came out. This is an Animal Kingdom open edition pin. I think that was the completer pin from Pin Quest. Here we have another puzzle pin with one of the fairies. Another alphabet pin. This Chip and Dale open edition pin was uh, I think just released last year. The three other fairies from Sleeping Beauty puzzle pins. Castaway Key 2015 pin. There's a Disney Cruise Line pin with uh, Tinkerbell. This Disneyland pin here is very nice. Tropical pin on pin design. Another uh, Sleeping Beauty pin, puzzle pin. This one here says Northern European Capitals Cruise 2010. Here we have a Gardens of the Galaxy pin. This Tinkerbell pin is really nice for Disneyland Hotel with a monorail below. Another alphabet pin and then two more of the puzzle pieces. We actually might have the whole uh, puzzle piece set for Sleeping Beauty it looks like. I'll have to try to put those together. This Sorcerer Mickey pin here is from 2005. Tinkerbell, 10 years of pin trading. That's cool. Alice in Wonderland, Dopey Stamp pin. I think that's from a Magical Mystery collection. Uh, My First Visit, that's a common one there. Cyan Am, that's another one that, from the Magical Mystery collections with the collars. Uh, My First Disney Cruise with Chip and Dale. We have doubles here of Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa with Chip and Dale. There is the, uh, that's a standard open edition Animal Kingdom pin, still very nice. Another Castaway Key 2014 pin, pin on pin design with Captain Mickey. And then another one of those Pin Quest pins. Moving down, Beauty and the Beast heart pin, that's a newer one, probably within the past two years. This is a classic Epcot logo pin. I actually have this for my personal collection. I really like Mickey there with the pin on pin design. There's another Sleeping Beauty puzzle pin with Maleficent. I think when they have the gold there, they're chasers. Yeah, this one's limited edition of 600. And this one up here was limited edition of 1100. So we have both, but this one here is the chaser. There's the Disney's Hollywood Studios logo pin with Mickey. We have another Gardens of the Galaxy pin. 
another PinQuest pin. There's a little mashup of Soren and Dumbo. The dinosaur attraction at Animal Kingdom. Here's a Grand Californian Hotel pin. A Groot pin. That's a newer release as well. Uh, another PinQuest pin. Finding Nemo, uh, the submarine voyage at Disneyland. That's a nice pin. Another 101 Dalmatians. Uh, Magical Mystery. Cyanam Open Edition. The Grand Floridian Open Edition pin there with uh, Goofy, Mickey, and Donald. We have Smee, Bruce from Finding Nemo. Avengers, Mickey Cruise Line. This here is uh, nice for Valentine's Day with Mickey and Minnie. And uh, Disneyland, pin on pin design. Another magical mystery with Cheshire Cat. Check out this Dale pin here. He's looking pretty festive. There's the open edition Magic Kingdom pin with Mickey Mouse. Uh, nice boardwalk open edition pin. And then we have Mater and the train. Moving down, we have some more magical mystery pins here. That's the Epcot uh, 30th anniversary annual pass holder pin. Castaway 5K. This is a nice Peter Pan never grow up pin. Simba. Chip and Dale again acting crazy. Nice looking Ursula pin there. Castaway Key again. Disney Vacation Club member. It's uh, Tigger Fishing. Or that's a Starfish uh, Hidden Mickey pin. Another cruise line for the wonder. This right here is a Cars Land mystery pin. This is the Disney Dream Dangle pin. From Nassau. That's nice. There's a big Dumbo pin. We have Hulk. Saratoga Springs Resort with Mickey there on the horse. Goofy painting the ship. Nice Aladdin and Jasmine pin. Another BFF pin for the Lion King. Haunted Mansion. This right here says Light Magic, a Spectacular Journey at Disneyland. Here's just a uh, gold pin trading pin, logo pin. One of the newer Gardens of the Galaxy pins. Moving down, we have Scar. Another BFF for uh, Inside Out. Another BFF for Beauty and the Beast. 2014 Tinkerbell. A 2010 Tinkerbell. And this silver pin here for the pin trading logo, I think was from that Pingo. Instead of Bingo, it was Pingo. I think that was like the completer for it. This is a newer one here for Copper Creek. Brand new DVC hotel at Walt Disney World. Uh, Peter Pan. Another Avengers. Beating the Bees, Cogsworth. One of those Diva shoes for Snow White. Lumiere. Uh, Chip and Dale with tomatoes. Mickey Mouse with the star American flag. And then down here, coming to the end, look at these nice little miniature pins with uh, Chip and Dale. Those are really cool with the sunglasses on. Another pin, Quest pin. Mary Poppins. One of those ear hats for Snow White. Open edition Tinker Bell pin, a scar pin, and then finally we have Maleficent. Open edition pin there as well. All right, guys, that's everything. The whole entire pin collection. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that pin collection. Like I said before, some of these are going to be at dppstore.com, and I'm also going to be using some for giveaways. We have giveaways every single month on the website. Just head over to DisneyPinsBug.com on the giveaways tab, and you may be the next lucky winner. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. We have a regular Disney Pins Blog Facebook page, and also the Disney Pins Blog Community Facebook group. Um, you can follow us on Instagram and uh, Twitter. We're getting pretty close to 25k followers on Instagram and uh, once we hit that milestone we're gonna have another giveaway. Alright guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this pin collection and I'll see you soon. Later.